a high-tech crash avoidance system. The improvement by Amtrak meant to control train speed around dangerous curves and other hazards. CBS 2's Janelle Burrell joins us live from Penn Station with more. Janelle. Yeah, and Chris, this is one of the busiest stretches of railroad in the country. So now seven months after that deadly derailment in Philadelphia, this is one more level of safety for commuters. Every time I get on a train, I'm praying. Amtrak officials calling it an added layer of safety along the Northeast Corridor. Over the weekend, the railroad activated its positive train control system on its route between New York City and Philadelphia. The system is an automatic speed control system that will automatically apply brakes when a train goes over the speed limit. Fair mail safer and um, knowing that something if happens, the train is going to stop and not depending on somebody else trying to stop it. Last May, eight people were killed and 200 injured when an Amtrak train bound for Penn Station derailed in Philadelphia, traveling 106 miles per hour, more than double the speed limit. You would like to think that they're doing something in case something goes wrong. After the derailment, Congress mandated that all railroads have the positive train control system in place by the end of this year. Congress ended up extending the deadline until 2018 after commuter railroads, including Metro North and New Jersey Transit, complained that logistical challenges would make it difficult to implement the technology so quickly. This is enormously complicated technology that uses GPS and other tracking systems to know where every single single train is on every inch of our network. This is as fast as we can humanly go. Now, as for the derailment, back in May, the National Transportation Safety Board is expected to release its final report about that crash sometime next year, and we're expecting to hear more recommendations coming from those who looked over this crash when that's released in 2016. Reporting live this morning outside of Penn Station, Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News. And also